Hi everybody, welcome to the video for Thursday, May 27, 2010. I want to begin by reminding everybody that tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern at leap.tv, L-E-E-B dot TV, we'll be hosting a free special online briefing featuring Dr. Leap, so be sure to stop by. In the last month or so, the S&P 500 has tumbled some 12.4%, but now it appears that a bottom may be forming. On a closing basis, stocks were in a tight range over the last uh, three days this week. Uh, today, the Dow jumped 285 points and the S&P 500 climbed 3.3%. The rebound provides additional hope, but no definitive conclusion yet that the market is forming a new base. This, however, doesn't necessarily mean that a low has been reached, but we think the worst is over. First, it's necessary to recognize that periodic Volatility is a given in the financial markets. Second, a market pullback was long overdue. And uh, you've heard us repeat uh, many times during these videos that we think the market had been overbought. Uh, and the correction finally arrived this month. Uh, the Eurozone crisis has dramatically increased the awareness that growth in developed economies were fueled in recent years in good part by the use of debt and the creation of, of excessive deficits. We continue to believe that investments leveraged to faster growing regions will fare well over time. Despite, high vol despite higher volatility compared to uh, investments exposed to, to the developed world, uh, we also believe that the latest decline in emerging market investments amid the overall global market's retreat is merely a correction in an ongoing bull market, and one that is now providing an excellent opportunity for gradual accumulation. Such investments should also include uh, suppliers to the emerging markets. Uh, in this regard, Australia and Canada, two countries rich in natural resources, are attractive. Thank you for watching. That's it for today. And again, be sure to drop on by to drop by leap.tv tomorrow.